power from pennies and vinegar. Okay guys, so we are doing a little experiment here today. We're using pennies and creating electricity. Now we have a little setup here that we are running a LED light. Now this container here, I just put all of our penny batteries in this while we are doing this experiment. So let me show you the process. Okay, so we've got a couple things here. We have our LED lights and we have pennies. We got a sharpening stone. Now you can use uh, sandpaper for this project, but I found the sharpening stone works best because what we do is we are taking pennies that predate, actually they are after a date. We are taking pennies that are after 1990. It's the easiest way to make sure that we have a high concentration of zinc. Now, if you got sandpaper, that'll work just fine. You just take your penny and you set onto, I'm using the sharpened stone, makes it much easier and faster. And we're just going to sand one side down. Now, when that side is complete, you'll have one silver side, just like this. This is the zinc. And then you got your copper side. These are your batteries that you're making. Now, once you got enough of these, We'll go on to the next step. Each one of these pennies will create about half a volt of electricity. All right, so once you've got all your pennies send it down on one side, we're gonna build our battery. Now we've taken a piece of tin foil for an example, and we're gonna lay this down as our base. Okay, so we're gonna take our first penny. We're gonna put the copper side down on the tin foil, just like that right there. And in this bag, I have pre-cut out some pieces of cardboard that we have soaking in regular household vinegar. Now, this is the key ingredient other than the zinc. And we're going to take our cardboard and we're just going to blot dry it a little bit just so that the vinegar is not leaking out everywhere. And we're going to set right on top of our battery. Now, we're going to go ahead and build more onto this battery. We're going to take another penny. We're going to put copper side down. That way they're all facing the same way. We're going to put it right on top. We're going to do the exact same process with more of the cardboard. So now that we've got our pieces together, we're going to take our LED light and we're going to go test this thing out. And yes, the light did light up, so we have power to our LED. Now, this is just a very simple battery. Like I said, it's just powering up an LED. But let's go on to the next step if you want to see the little container we built. This is just an earplug container. Um, I wear earplugs at night, and the earplugs I buy come with these little containers. So, since this size is perfect for pennies... I decided to go ahead and chop up a whole bunch of aluminum foil, as you can see right here. Now, taking our LED light, get our extension down, all right, our legs. Our shorter one is going to be our negative. This is the one on the far right-hand side right here. So we're going to move this out a little bit. I've already put a hole down here in the bottom. I'm going to insert the leg of our LED through that. Just like that and we got our positive kicked off now holding on to our LED we're gonna flip it up and we're gonna start putting all these little tiny pieces of aluminum foil in here that way it kind of builds a base around the negative side leg of that LED and then we'll take a piece of stick or scissors whatever and just mash around it so it just holds that LED in place and then eventually you get a mound built up just like this so we're putting our zinc side down that's the hardest part trying to get everything go the correct way I guess you can put it on your finger and slide it in and flip it over all right you put your battery in and then you put your uh, cardboard and just keep doing the exact same process over and over again until you got all your 
pennies down in there. See how quickly your shiny side of your penny changes with the reaction of the vinegar? Now you don't want too much cardboard around your pennies or you'll wind up uh, shorting out your battery and it won't work as efficiently. So that's why I had these pennies cut to size. All right, now, now we got that situated. We'll move that. Next up, we have our positive. Now with this project, we're just gonna take some wire that I have uh, savage from somewhere else and i got some little loops here so we're just going to put over the uh leg here if you got a soldering iron available yeah you can just solder it together or you can just quickly loop it around and hopefully your battery doesn't fall out like mine just did there we go bend that leg down now we got all this extra wire here now that we got our positive wire down we're just going to go ahead and put some electrical tape just to hold that wire kind of in place don't worry guys it's not going to heat up and melt through that way it doesn't move around too much on us now we've got a lot of extra pennies here it doesn't matter you can use anything it doesn't have to be pennies but i don't want to pull out any of that um vinegar that's in the cardboard already so we're just going to use metal and we're just going to put our positive lead down in here Dropper spacers. We're just using them as a spacer is what we're doing. There we go. Use that. Close it up. And there we go. We got our LED running using vinegar and pennies. Right fast, guys. I would like to talk about one of our affiliate programs here on the channel. The best way to protect your family is being prepared. Not only is Legacy Premium the best value in food storage, but it is also the best tasting and most nutritious. Up to a 25 year shelf life and free shipping on all orders, Legacy Food is a go-to for long-term emergency foods. Not only are we affiliated with Legacy Food Storage, we actually use them for our emergency long-term food preps. Legacy Food has the lowest cost per pound, voted the best tasting, a 25 year shelf life, non-GMO, gluten-free options, and yes, it's made here in the USA. So guys, if you wanna help support the channel and support yourself with long-term food storage, check out our affiliate links in the description.